Are there aliens walking among us? Okay, this is huge. This is a bombshell just dropped by James Fox. Uh, get in here. This is Cosmic Road, where I discuss UFOs and the paranormal. Please hit like, please subscribe, and hit the bell. And uh, please share this on social media, trying to build the reach of this platform. So, okay, uh, this is, uh, I was alerted to this from Twitter. There was a uh, interview that uh, James Fox did, and he uh, shared some really interesting stuff. And I'm just going to play a little snippet of it. He doesn't go into any details about this. Um, I would love to ha hear more details from him about where he acquired this knowledge and what exactly he thinks it means. Uh, but it is a uh, huge and actually pretty world shaking. Um, not anything that I have not heard before, but uh, coming from James Fox, who I consider a very credible source. So without further ado, here's what he had to say. You know, let, let me let me let me end with this because uh, I don't usually talk about this because it's just a little bit it's a little bit out there, and I try to maintain um, a very conservative viewpoint publicly. And obviously, you know, some of my personal beliefs might go beyond the comfort level of people that are associated with my filmmaking. And so I have to respect that. And I get it. Um, you've got a lot more to lose. But I have met with very high level people, people that really, really are in a position to know what's going on. People that have dumped millions and millions and millions of dollars into researching this stuff. People that you probably know about. Um, that have shared stuff with me off the record that were so out there, I just went, you gotta be kidding me. This is really what you think is happening? And is this like speculation or conjecture? It's like, no, this is like research at the, at the, at the highest level. And it's like, I'll give you a hint and that's about as far as I wanna go with it. And, and look, I'm not endorsing this and I'm not saying that I believe it. I'm just saying that the people that I heard it from are people in a position to know like I, I i can't dismiss it because of the source and he told me in no uncertain terms that they're walking among us hello could you imagine if that was really the case i yeah. mean think about the implications of that they are walking among us yes that is what james fox was told and he has very good sources he talks to talk, top-level people and has access to stuff, uh, you know, the rest of us can only dream about. And uh, he is one of my favorite filmmakers on the subject. In fact, uh, he is my favorite filmmaker on the subject. Uh, his movie, Out of the Blue, was really foundational for me in coming to grips with the UFO reality. Um, you know, I had begun my research into the topic, and I had done a lot of research on it, but... I still couldn't quite make myself believe or, or allow myself to believe in the reality. Uh, but oh, Out of the Blue really tipped me over the edge. Uh, and I think that his uh, new movie, The Phenomenon, uh, can do the same thing for modern audiences. All of which is to say that I highly respect James Fox and uh, I believe that his sources are, are probably very credible. Now, the idea that aliens are walking among us has been around for a long time. Uh, and in fact, David Jacobs wrote a book called Walking Among Us, which is all about the, the hybrids and the, um, you know, the goal of the aliens or the beings or some subset of the beings uh, to create human-alien hybrids and how those hybrids are actually here on the planet and they are infiltrating our society and the alien abductees and contactees whose material was taken during abductions to create these hybrids. They are now helping them learn how to do basic things like, you know, uh, get around in society, uh, how, to, how to buy a t-shirt, how to operate the, you know, dishwasher, uh, you know, uh, things like that. Uh, so um, it's a it's a terrifying book in a way um, because it does it, it is very credible and David Jacobs uh, and Bud Hopkins uh, are both very credible um, people 
who have done a lot of uh, hypnotic regression on alien abductees and contactees. They've regressed thousands of people. And uh, many of them, uh, you know, dozens or, or hundreds of times each. Uh, so they have a lot of data and they approach it very scientifically. Um, you know, Bud Hopkins is no longer with us and David Jacobs is an old man. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I, I hope others continue that, that line of inquiry after, after his time um, because it is, it is fascinating and it, it is important. Now, okay, so I talk sometimes about the silos of information, and it's very interesting and confusing to compare uh, the silo that is coming from David Jacobs and Bud Hopkins versus the silo that is coming from Dolores Cannon and Barbara Lamb. Um, you know, they have a very different... Um, a silo of information on this. The, the people that are getting regressed by them have very different, um, a very different understanding of, of what is happening to them. And to them, is, is it a much more, it is a, a much more positive spiritual thing. And there's a lot of, um, you know, uh, positivity associated with it. We're heading toward the ascension or, or whatever. And, uh, you know, phasing into the fifth dimension and the beings are helping with that and awakening people to it, helping people learn uh, their innate spiritual abilities, learning to read auras, etc. So uh, that compares, you know, very, you know, is a very sharp divide between that line of inquiry and, and that research and those, you know, data points, if you will versus the data points of Bud Hopkins and David Jacobs. Uh, and, you know, which is right, which is wrong? Are they both right? Um, why do they get such disparate information? I, you know, that is one of the things that I think is a key question in all of this, is this whole silo of information thing. Uh, why are there such sharp silos of information that are wildly different? Uh, so yeah, very, very important questions. I think I don't know the answers. I have some ideas. Uh, it's possible with that entities are messing with us. Uh, I think that's very possible, possibly, uh, different people who are experiencers gravitate toward different researchers for whatever reason, whether they're steered there or they just resonate with a particular person. I don't know. But getting back to James Fox and his assertion that they are walking among us from the research of uh, David Jacobs, especially in the uh, thousands of people that he has regressed, um, yeah, it, it appears they are walking among us. Um, they, they, there are alien human hybrids and they are here. There has been a long standing uh, hybridization program that is the reason, or one of the major reasons behind the abduction phenomenon. And this has been going on for a long time. Uh, you know, who knows for how long? You know, at least since uh, the days of Barney and Betty Hill. Uh, but you know, it could be thousands or, you know, years old. Uh, uh, they could have created us and just uh, continuing their project. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, this is important stuff and it's an important question. Um, and I believe there's probably a lot of cover up about this. Uh, if indeed the U.S. government is working with the beings and assisting in abductions, as appears to be the case, from the, the accounts of many, many uh, UFO abductees, alien abductees, they often report that uh, officials, government officials, U.S. government officials are working with the beings and are there in our presence uh, often while the beings are, are carrying out their, um, their, their... Sorry, my phone just rang. Uh, but yeah, the... Uh, um, the, the government officials are often present during the abductions. So um, if that's true, then uh, it's not surprising that the uh, government would be covering this stuff up. 
So uh, it's, you know, why one reason to be very skeptical of, uh, you know, government disclosure uh, or, or at least skeptical that they're going to provide any sort of disclosure. Um, you know, a lot of the stuff is actually coming from outside of the government. Uh, Lou Elizondo had to leave the government uh, to get this whole ball rolling. And that could be why. But yeah, so from my research, um, it does appear that they are walking among us, at least the hybrids and presumably uh, any other races that want to be walking among us. They, they have the abilities to, to do that. If you want to never sleep again, read David Jacobs' book, Walking Among Us. Very sobering stuff. But it's also fascinating that that contrasts sharply with the other major silo of information, which is Barbara Lamb and Dolores Cannon, which have a much nicer, rosier tinted glasses way of seeing this. And it's not even a way of seeing it. It's, it's, it's an entirely different experience that their people are reporting to them. Dolores Cannon has said that's because uh, she goes, she does real deep uh, hypnosis, whereas David Jacobs does more of the um, light, a light version of hypnosis. I don't even think it's technically hypnosis. So according to Dolores Cannon, she's getting the real information because she's going deeper. However, that does not explain the wealth of information that Bud Hopkins and David Jacobs have acquired and the similarities between the accounts. And, you know, they are very scientific in their approach to this. Um, and uh, looking at the correlations between the thousands of cases um, that they have uh, gone over and uh, seeing the similarities between the accounts and uh, throwing out the ones that aren't similar, um, and that, that don't support each other. So um, there, there, there is some real there there. And what is there contrast very sharply with the other major silo of information. It's very perplexing. If you guys have any insight into this stuff, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to know your thoughts. And if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. That'd be awesome. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified of future videos. That'd be awesome. Please share this video on social media. There's Twitter and Facebook links below. That'd be awesome. And uh, of course, there's a PayPal button below if you wanted to support the channel. Until next time, Cosmic Road out.